Hello, this is Ryan Womack. I am Data Librarian at Rutgers University Libraries. This video is an explanatory video about some of my past YouTube videos. This is not an instructional video. If you are interested in learning about other topics, this is not the video for you. I'm only putting this video up as a historical record and an explanation of some issues related to my time series videos. Um, therefore, the full screen view, uh, just for a moment. And so this is a very personal idiosyncratic video. If you're here for productivity purposes, don't pay any attention, uh, move on to something else. All right, so. Um, what I'm specifically referring to here is my series of time series videos, which came out about 10 years ago. These hit um, the YouTube algorithm, I guess, when no one else had a time series in our video. Um, they are my most popular videos. However, they're old and out of date, and I am going to remove them soon. So I just wanted to reflect on them 10 years later. I wanted to have some record that they existed because I will be deleting them at some point. Um, and so here are the view numbers, the likes, and the comments that appeared. And particularly that first video uh, was the gateway into time series for a lot of people, 138,000 views, 539 likes. Of course, YouTube in the old days used to have dislikes as well. There were dislikes. It wasn't uniformly approved. Um, but it was, as soon as I delete these from my account, my view numbers are going to sh shrivel up and, um, I'm kind of making a video because I'm a little uncomfortable about that, but I'm going to explain, um, why that, why I'm doing what I'm doing. Okay. So the rest of this video, I'm going to, uh, leave myself, um, somewhat visible over here and... Make sure that it remains visible. And I'm going to talk through my uh, YouTube channel from the inside. So you can see my uh, creator studio here. I have my recent presentations. Um, I do have recent R videos and more will be coming. Um, you know, the intention that I have in deleting old videos is to give myself a strong push in the direction of making new content. Um, it's not apparent because I've already deleted those videos, but I started on YouTube back in 2009 with some smaller instructional videos about um, very specific uh, databases and tools that I did walkthroughs of, um, and that was back when YouTube was relatively new. Um, so. I've already been deleting some videos, but this is the first, I guess, big or painful, painful one that, that uh, causes me some concern. So again, in 2013, I had released these time series videos. Uh, you can see yourself uh, that the number of views, this 138,000 views is by far the most watched um, video on my channel. The more typical, even things like big data um, have gotten views in the thousands, data visualization in the thousands, 4,800 for some part of data visualization. My survival analysis, which is a bit newer, um, also was a, uh, is a less covered topic on YouTube. So I've gotten in the 20,000 views there. Um, but the time series stuff is unnaturally high. Again, I think I just caught the algorithm. Um, uh, and YouTube recommended me quite a lot because there wasn't much else at the time this video came out. And then it's a self-fulfilling uh, prophecy, right? That things continue to be recommended if they're popular. Um, so nothing against these videos. These are short. Um, this was at a time when I was doing a little bit better at chopping up my videos into seg segments. And you can see my video recommendations and things like that over here as well. 
Um, so again, this is a more personal reflection kind of video and insight into things. Um, I still use the same kind of very rough techniques to make these videos because, I don't know, that's my philosophy. I want you to see what um, see something that's relatively unproduced. Um, I just do a screen record um, using a slightly different system right now where the, the launching of the screen recording is not uh, immediately visible when you when you open up but uh, have always been recording these on a Linux system and just giving you a, like a raw talked through screencast which is what this one is um, you can see the passage of time in my old um, profile picture that this video starts out with you can see the the large number of views here the 539 likes the um, 45 comments and I want to talk a little bit about the comments right so this channel this whole channel you know my day job is is to be the data support at Rutgers University as data librarian um, I help people at Rutgers University um, I have all my contact information there people reach out to me they ask questions I like to make my content available um, via YouTube so that it's a the easiest way to make video versions available and b you know it, it helps reach that larger audience but i have never um, gone deep into youtube comments and responding to things as you would see from these comments i i'm very happy to get a lot of the the kudos here but um aside from fixing if someone points out a technical issue like a file is missing uh, that they need and um, they need help with the link um, that those are things that I will go in and fix but I don't really pay attention to the YouTube comments I do not monitor them on a regular basis if you make a comment I mean I'd see it for a while and in particular I cannot get into providing worldwide support for R simply because that would be um, I'm not here to build the YouTube channel. I'm here to share some extra information on my YouTube channel related to my main responsibility as a data librarian. Um, that's kind of changing as my career progresses. Um, the fact that I'm going to post this video, which is just me reflecting, is a little bit different than the way I would have done things 10 years ago. Um, but, okay. Those are enough comments about the comments. Uh, let me talk about um, the time series videos themselves. Um, I do want to point out that once these videos go down, um, all of this material was not really original to me in terms of creating the lessons. It's, it's covering material that is done in more depth in this introductory time series with our book from Springer's Use R series by Metcalf and Copperthwaite, if I'm pronouncing that right. And so that's still available. Um, there are plenty of other ways, right, that you can learn about time series with R. And um, I'm going to be taking down these videos because, you know, I was interested in this topic. I developed a workshop for Rutgers. Um, this workshop was never popular at Rutgers. I would get two or three attendees at Rutgers and I simply do not get a lot of time series related questions. Um, it's not something that I have continued to work with. And so I have not, uh, you know, if I had fresh time series material, updated time series material, I would be happy to post a new series of videos to replace this one. I do not have that content. I am not working on anything related to time series. And it's just my philosophy that after a certain amount of time um, for technical type material, I don't want to leave something up that is going to, you know, have dependencies on, I've got somebody driving by <laughs> um, with a stereo system, if you can hear background music it's a, it's a 
very musical car going by that I don't have um, I, I don't like having something that is going to deteriorate and have dependencies on packages that no longer exist and have further comments you know I I have explained I'm not very responsive to the comments here on YouTube but I also don't want to exacerbate that problem by like leaving stuff up that just doesn't work anymore at, at some point it won't work anymore at some point there are going to be better ways to do this if they are not already that I'm you know again like I said I haven't uh, been working with time series um, data hands-on too much obviously the concepts uh, remain valid but I have not um, you know I don't have anything here to update um, update the content so as painful as it will be to see my view numbers shrink um, I will be taking these down um, including the 32,000 views for time series in our session 1.2 including the um, 37,882 views for forecasting this was a popular one uh, more likes here um, and then it, it's interesting to me just observing how the um, people who made it through the whole sequence, right? Obviously, for any topic, there's going to be fatigue. People will drop off. Um, and some of these sessions, like stochastic models, had fewer views, although there's still 16,000 views. Uh, so so that, that, to me, also says something. Um, comments started to, to drop off. Um, I don't get these kind of uh, nice comments on, on other videos, unfortunately. Um, so in a, in a sense, that's, you know, I am grateful for the positive feedback here. And I'm still, you know, kind of sad about the, um, the soon to be loss of these videos. But in order to free my mind for moving forward, you know, I, I just, it's my practice, my work practice to um, move away from material by, by deleting it. And um, including even when it's got um, lots of views like this one, because I, I just think that uh, technical focused instruction um, is, is not something that has this long-term artistic value um, and we just need to clean it up and so interestingly there's kind of a bump but for people perhaps people who made it through the whole series um, had more likes here 119 likes um, on 44,000 nearly 44,000 views um, and I guess at that point, you know, 10 years ago when R was newer to, you know, new thing, a new thing to a lot of people and there were relatively few people in the R space, um, one path for me would have been to um, devote all my time to R and become a super R expert. Uh, I chose to remain a data librarian and focus uh, on other things in my career while still making use of R and you know I'm, I'm not giving up on R in by any means um, you will see upcoming videos and I guess this I can give drop this spoiler at the end of this video if you've watched actually watched this video to this point in the fall I'll be doing a more detailed uh, video and and workshop on creating packages in R um, something that I've touched on a number of times but to really give a hands-on walkthrough for that. Um, I'm just also fascinated by the recommendations here, right? So you can kind of see the uh, K-pop era of the mid to 2010s, um, along with other um, topics similar to these reflected. It's kind of intriguing um, if you are entertained by that. So. I guess, you know, if this decision to take down these videos um, 
is upsetting to you, um, you know, I do apologize for that. But for me, um, leaving the videos up is in some way claiming that I'm still an expert on these topics and claiming that these are useful um, current materials. And, you know, that's my rule is to, when it hits 10 years, uh, as these will in October, um, I'll probably take them down a little bit after I upload this, this video um, to uh, make, that, make that break, make it clear that my YouTube channel is not a, a permanent archive for this kind of stuff. And, you know, the permanent archive are the articles that I've written, the other digital traces that I've left um, in other public presentations and things like that, which, which age in a different way. They age uh, according to a kind of scholarly life cycle, and people understand that. Um, YouTube is a little different. You know, I am thinking that you know, my YouTube channel, once I'm not working anymore, my YouTube channel hopefully will fade out entirely um, over time. But I, I do want to give that emphasis to my new material, my new projects, like the Central Asia and Mongolia Gender Data Portal, which there was just a video posted on, um, and to, um, to highlight that. So it, you've heard me ramble about this for, for long enough. Um, I will sign off here, and uh, this video will serve as an explanation of what happened to the time series videos when someone who is expecting to see that stumbles across the channel, if they remember that from uh, 10 years ago, which actually I should also point out that most of those views accumulated early in the process. They are not... YouTube is not recommending um, the nine to 10 year old videos so much to people. Um, but if anyone remembers Time Series in R by Ryan Womack, they will find this video instead and understand why those videos are not there anymore. But I do thank everyone for, for watching. Um, those of you who find this, this useful, I am grateful for the past uh, feedback, the past views, the past likes, and I'm just hoping that um, some of the new material will also remain of interest. So thank you.